Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to share a bunch of hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, and some of these features have to do with One UI 2.0, and where they do have anything to do with the One UI 2.0, I will actually mention that. Some of them are previously available, but I do want to share these amazing features with you guys to enhance your ownership, so let's dive in and discover. So the very first feature I want to talk about has to do with your S Pen and of course the Samsung Notes application. So let's go inside, let's launch that application right away, right over here, okay? So we do have a brand new blank screen. Now on this screen I have selected uh, the drawing, the pen tool right here. So I'm going to draw something right over here. Now as you know, when you go inside, when you draw something, when you write something, you do have the option to delete that. So when you tap on the eraser, you can delete that. But as you delete it, the whole thing just disappears, which is not good, especially if you're writing something or drawing something precise. So here's the other thing I want to talk about then. So let's go back to the pen. Let's draw something right here. So let's say that you want to precisely uh, erase something. All you want to do is double tap on this thing, okay, and pick erase by area instead of erase by line. So again, double tap, actually just tap it once and just pick erase by area. Now what you can do is you can pick the size of the erasure. Okay, let's just pick three and you can specifically delete things like this. Okay, so that's much better than when you go to the default setting, which is erase by line and just the whole thing goes away. By the way, let me just show you the how, how sensitive that is. this is. So if I go erase by area and pick the number one, look at that. That's almost like a realistic erasing on the on the note. Okay, so that's fantastic. Now while we are in the S Notes application, let me show you one more hidden feature that I really enjoy using all the time. And that's basically let's uh, let me just grab a pen here. Let's make it a little bit thicker here just to pronounce it a little bit. So let's pick red. So let's say I wrote something in red. And then I wrote something in some other color. All right, just press the button by mistake over here, exit out, and align right over here. Well, I can actually go back and change the color of each one of the things that I wrote or drew. So even if I drew something, I can change the color and experiment with my drawing or my writing. All you do is you tap on this button right here, uh, the A button, all right, and you just change the color or the style. You can even change the style, but I'm just gonna change the color right now. Let's go from red uh, to, let's uh, do green. Okay, green is perfectly fine. So if I tap on it now, it's gonna change that into green. Now, as you notice, it also changed the styling of it because I picked the middle one. So if I went over here to thickness, I can change the thickness of things as well, just like that. Okay, so you can change the color, the thickness, of anything that you draw or write with the S Pen. So those are some fantastic tools to enhance what you do uh, with your S Pen. Let's continue. Now this next feature has been enhanced in One UI 2.0. Uh, it's a feature that I was using previously. Now it's even better. So when you go to your phone application, okay, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, tap on settings right here and then go into call display while using apps. You tap on this one right here, and you have a bunch of options here. Let me demonstrate what's going on over here. So I'm gonna call myself using my other smartphone, my backup smartphone. So I'm waiting for my phone to ring right now. I just want you guys to see exactly what's gonna happen on the actual screen, okay? We're gonna get a pop-up, as you can see, right over here, all right? So we have a pop-up right over here, and it's a big one. So let me decline that call for a minute, okay? Let me go to mini pop-up and see what happens this time. So let me redial myself right over here, using my backup phone over here. Okay, now we have a mini pop-up right here. Kill the volume for a second. So that's much more smaller, much less intrusive, or you can go for the full screen. And basically what happens is when somebody calls you, if you're in any other app, uh, such as the settings option right here, it's just gonna bypass that, go to the full phone, all right? But you have the pop-up and the mini pop-up option, as well as the ability to keep calls in the pop-up. So look at that, let me enable this, let me call myself one more time, all right? And take a look at what happens over here. So I'm gonna kill the volume. All right, so I kill the volume, I'm gonna say answer, 
And this actually remains here. I can move it on the screen and continue doing what I'm doing on the screen as I'm talking to the person, even enable a uh, speaker phone right here and then end the call, all right? So remember, you do have these options uh, in your phone's settings option. Fantastic. Now there are some couple One UI 2.0 changes that I noticed here that are really pretty cool. Uh, some of them are actually hidden even though they're supposed to be obvious. So as you know, with the navigation, you have the option uh, to hide these buttons. So let's, let's do that right now. And I'm gonna show you something that's inside there that you may not be aware of. So if I go over here and if I go to navigation bar, okay, now let's just go to full screen gestures and tap on more uh, options here, all right? I'm just gonna pick uh, the, the One UI 2.0 option, which is this one here. And as you can see at the bottom, we have a little line. That's very important, that line. So normally that line could be disabled and that will give you a more immersive experience because you don't see anything. You can just go back and you can do things like this, okay? That's great. Now, if you do have that line enabled, you have an additional functionality to use. So let's enable that. And now with the line, you can do this. You can switch between apps just by swiping uh, back and forth as you just saw. You can switch between applications uh, just like that. And that only works if you have the line actually enabled, otherwise you would have to go like this and pick it this way, okay? So just be aware of that, and that's another thing that I'm really enjoying. I'm gonna go back to the buttons uh, for the sake of the video, make it easy. All right, next thing I wanna talk about has to do with your keyboard. So, so let me quickly launch an application that uses the keyboard. I'm just gonna go right over here. So let's bring up the keyboard, and that's what you have right now. So with the keyboard here, you have a panel, you have a strip of options, you can tap this, it goes back to words. So if you don't see this, you can always tap on this to reverse and go into the options and settings. You can always tap these three buttons to bring up everything. These are all the options available for the keyboard. Now, when you go into the settings of the keyboard, what you can do is you go to style and layout and you can change uh, the way your keyboard looks. Now, I happen to like the dark theme here. So that's what I, what I do with my um, keyboard. If I don't have the dark, dark theme enabled, I can still use the dark keyboard. So you can just, and from here you can tap on these buttons to preview how it, it's gonna look when you're typing with it, all right? So let's cancel that. The other thing you can do is you can tap on high contrast keyboard and you can pick all these different colors for the keyboard option, okay? So any keyboard that you want right over here if you want a high contrast keyboard. So that's fantastic. And the other thing here that you need to do is this is just for your convenience, all right? And you go inside, you can change the size of the keyboards. If you think that the keyboard feels a little bit too small for your large fingers or too big for your small fingers, you can resize it as you see. You click done and then you get the, uh, the brand new keyboard right here. Much more small, much more compact, easy to use even with one hand. And the final thing here that's very important, again, that a lot of people don't know that's built into the keyboard is, if you tap this button again and bring that strip, you have the option to access GIFs, okay? So from here, you can access any GIF and send it over to anybody that you want. You can tap on trending, you can choose all these different GIFs in your Samsung keyboard, happy, fun, or you can search for exactly uh, what you want. Uh, let's just say celebration, all right? And it's gonna bring up all kinds of celebratory uh, gifts for you guys to enjoy. So that's fantastic. Let's move on to the next tactic. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with video wallpapers that you can apply to your lock screen. So let's say you actually make a video of your pet, your kid, or anything of nature, whatever. You can always go to your gallery, and here I do have a video of my, my daughter here. What we can do is I can tap on this one right here and say set as wallpaper. You can do that with anything that you want. You can do that with any video that you want that you have recorded yourself. So if I tap on set as wallpaper, it's gonna give me a quick preview of, of how it's gonna look on the lock screen. I can even tap on this and edit the size of that video wallpaper. I can make it four seconds. You can go all the way up to 15 seconds. You click done. It's gonna save that video. And once it's ready, I tap on set on lock screen. Now when I go to my lock screen, okay, let me lock the phone real quick with my soft key edge panel here, boom, all right? Lock, boom, boom, and as you can see, that video is playing in the background, and it has no lag. It's really nice and high quality. Now on top of this real quick with the video wallpapers, you have the option to go to your uh, wallpapers right here, okay? 
go into explore and simply type in in the search box here video wallpapers video uh, wall papers just like that click on search and from here anything that says video at the bottom corner here is a video wallpaper so let's just pick one here that's pretty cool uh, most of these are free so let's uh let's go for this one right here okay i can even preview that but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just download this real quick download all right you have to watch an ad for a couple seconds sometimes and that's going to download the video wallpaper skip the ad saying it's saying completing download click apply all right again you get a nice preview click on set on lock screen and now that goes to your lock screen as well all right so that's a great little option that you can have on your lock screen now that's not a really good wallpaper but i have so many over here something like this right over here okay so i'm going to click apply look at that i can have that beautiful video wallpaper oops uh, on the screen let's see did it apply all right absolutely gorgeous all right now a lot of people are not using their s pen to their full potential so let me show you one setting that you need to start using uh, if you want to use your pen as a, as a remote control for your smartphone so let me just go to my settings real quick i'm going to go into my advanced features right over here okay and then from here i'm going to go to the s pen and then go into air actions okay so i'm not particularly interested in air actions what i'm really interested in is just pressing the button what happens when you press the button okay so for example let's just use the gallery as an example so i'm going to go to gallery and it says single press next item double press previous item now when you tap on these you can actually modify them i'm just going to concentrate on single press and double press so now i'm going to go into my gallery let's launch the gallery let's launch the gallery and i'm just going to tap on this uh this uh this thing right over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap it one time and it's going to go to the next item when i tap it double times twice it goes back double tap goes back double tap goes back all right tap once goes next so these things you can configure uh, under air actions for all these applications and this application here as well okay so that's a great little feature that a lot of people are not using from what i can tell all right so that is the last thing i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you guys learned something new and enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right. Have a fantastic day.